A warm welcome to everyone taking time out of their day to join me for Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Here at Always Best Care, we strive to provide quality care to our clients in the same way we would provide care to a loved one. The holidays are upon us, and it's time to gather with our loved ones to share in our yearly holiday traditions. Reminiscing on holidays, past or events of the past year are a great joy, but for some, the concern of memory impairment can hinder these abilities. According to the Alzheimer's Association, 11 million Americans are providing unpaid care to someone with a cognitive impairment, which means that at least 11 million Americans will be visiting someone with dementia this holiday season. People with dementia enjoy having visitors during the holiday season just like anyone else, but it's important to make sure that you set your visitors up for success to keep the visit positive and allow for better interactions year round. When visiting someone with dementia this year, Limit visitors to two to three people at a time. This will minimize overstimulation if the setting is too noisy. Speak in a normal voice and use visual cues if necessary. Make sure that you're making eye contact and stay in line with their line of vision rather than hovering over them or standing too low. Always go with the flow of the conversation, even if it doesn't necessarily make sense or certain things that your loved one is mentioning uh, are untrue. Share and discuss memories of the past. Your loved one is likely to remember things from earlier in their life, and this could be a great way to encourage their participation in the season's traditions. Avoid saying, do you remember? This could cause embarrassment for your loved one. Don't become frustrated if your loved one is having a hard time following direction, and slow down your speaking and make sure that you're only giving one step at a time. And lastly, don't take offense to mean or nasty things that may be said. Dementia unfortunately affects a person's thinking and eliminates that filter that most of us have in a public setting. Having a great visit and understanding more about dementia may encourage family and friends to visit more often. For some families, having a one-to-one -one care provider can also help to alleviate um, any stress associated with the holidays this year. Someone to manage any care needs, help with redirection, or provide additional companionship to your loved one can help to ease the need for over multitasking and allow family members to focus on things like greeting other guests, preparing the holiday meal, and being able to just take a step back and enjoy the holiday in its entirety. I hope these tips help this holiday season. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.